lashing out, claiming their cars are being illegally towed. Tony Lopez is live in Folsom, and tonight he is asking questions and getting some answers on all this. Tony? So hey, is follow this me on this, guys. You just get home from a long, hard day's work. You park your car in a reserved, designated spot in front of your condo complex. You go into your condo, you get your eight to nine to ten hours of shut-eye, all rested, and then you're ready to go back to work the next day. You come out to your spot and, well, where's my car? Guess what? It's been towed again. And there goes another one, another car being towed from the Esplanade Condominium Complex in Folsom. It happened to this man. This one's a truck. It was actually towed on the 5th of February. And this one got to my car at 6 a.m. and it wasn't there. They're not alone. More than 50 people who call this place home have had their cars towed this month alone. Oh, we jumped in the car, chased the tow truck guy and said, hey, dude, that's, that's, my, that's my truck. I guess he said too bad? Yeah. And that was at 2 in the morning. They say it always happens in the middle of the night. Here's the sticker that explains why they're being towed. You're not going to believe this. So this, this shows that if your car is parked here for longer than three nights, nice. you get towed. towed. And this one just says automatic tow. That's right. After three nights in a designated residential parking spot, you have to move your car off the property. It's right here in the condo board bylaws. So residents who already pay a homeowner's association fee of $240 a month have to rearrange their lives so they won't have their cars towed and be forced to fork over another $220 to get their cars back. Back. The towing company is over off of Sunrise in Rancho Cordova, so I was forced to ride my bike from here all the way over there. These parking rules were approved by the condo board. This man's a board member. Who come in? But these people are looking for answers, and as a board member, you owe them answers. They can go to the meeting on the floor and get their answers. Well, you're standing right in front of them right now, and I don't want to be combative, but if I lived here, I would be royally ticked right now. So help me understand the problem. Who come in? Okay, so how can you put three cars in a two-car garage? Take and talk to me about that. As he walked away, we followed while a resident cornered him. Not getting many answers, but at least he's not getting his car towed. That's because it's parked at a local supermarket. Well, I mean, I parked at Rayleigh's last night. My fiance had to wake up at 5 in the morning and take me to Rayleigh's. Can you imagine? So why is this problem happening just this month? Well, they recently changed the bylaws and decided to start enforcing them. Yes, we called the tow truck company. I talked to a gentleman there who said he had no comment because he wasn't a manager and to call back tomorrow. We will. We're going to put this in the file of you can't make it up. No it kidding. It's just unbelievable. And I've some, covered a lot of... Oh, go ahead, pal. Somebody's cashing in, Tom. Yeah. You know what? There's a lot more to this, and we'll dig into it. Okay. Good story. Thank you. Gosh. A Fairfield teenager is under arrest tonight. He's